Hi guys, I hope everybody's uh, doing well. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening from wherever you're calling in from. Uh, today's gonna be, we try to keep these to 15 or 20 minutes and give you a quick overview of what we're doing. Um, and uh, we're really excited today because uh, what we're getting ready to release here in the first week of December, everything you see here is gonna be released in about two weeks. And um, some of it's already live, I'll show you how that works and I'll give you a good overview of what we're doing. So. If you can see my screen, the AI workspace for business is what we're releasing here. And it allows you to build your own business applications literally in minutes. We're going to do some together. Um, as I said, we're releasing in a couple of weeks, so hopefully everything will work perfectly. But um, uh, it's it's very cool. And um, what's, what's unique about uh, what we're doing is our view is that currently AI for business people is kind of broken. Um, we've been living in the AI world deeply now for three years. And the world is full of all kinds of toolkits and APIs. And so you either have to be um, sort of a toolkit junkie um, or an executive in a company that's hiring a bunch of consultants. Uh, and there's also all the data cleaning and implementing costs, et cetera. So, you know, there's been a lot of questions on the ROI of these AI projects, primarily because they're, com they're so complex to get going at an enterprise level that, that there's a lot of money spent. And at an individual level, you kind of have to be a, a hyper nerd to not to put all the toolkits together. And I've used all kinds of them and they're all very cool, but you know, most people don't want to spend their day figuring out how to uh, talk API and things like that um, and connect all their stuff and build workflows. And you know, there is a subset of people who are, and they're amazing who want to do that, but everybody doesn't. And so this complexity is really, uh, we think, preventing the the speed at which value can be provided to uh, your organizations and it, it really shouldn't be this hard why we believe we can do this better than other folks is we have a unique architecture and i won't go into the details it's nerdy but basically um we don't have relational databases we don't have full stack architectures we have a, a kind of a no stack architecture that allows us to build a multimodal database applications uh, all without the standard complexity uh, we kind of say that the old architectures that have been around for a long time are kind of old for AI. We, we we have an architecture specifically designed for AI, and it makes the ability to build these applications, have them just work much better. Um, and that gives you AI that just works. And so whether you're a business manager, IT, or consultant, we can provide a simple path to AI success and get you the ROI you want as quickly as possible. Today, we're going to talk about building some apps. Now, this user interface I'm going to show you um, allows us to do that. And um, the idea is that you can come in and you can find wherever you are as a, a, you know, your roles and your areas, et cetera, or you can build these applications yourself. So the way this works, there's a quick tour here that gives you, you know, a walk through how you can uh, use all the different points, add files, et cetera. But if you've used um, uh, LLMs in general, this should be fairly familiar. One of the cool things here is you can select the type of thing you're trying to build, whether you're building an app, a spreadsheet, a custom app, a dashboard, presentation or document, uh, it will build all of those types of things for you. And down here, as I said, you can select from the different types of applications and you can preview these. So if you want to see what this Ochre's manager looks like, you can jump in here and have a look. You can build it from here. And uh, that demo is available online at Praxy.com. You can do that. And I'll show, I'm going to get a little more in depth here, but we have lots and lots of different applications for all types of use cases, HR, IT, et cetera. And, um, and all these applications are available and it's all under one price and it's, uh, it starts at 20 bucks a month. And um, so feel free to go play with these different applications at Praxy.com. The thing that's missing right now is the actual designer. And that's, as I said, being uh, uh, released the first uh, week of December. So let's uh, go ahead and I'll give you an example of, of how this kind of works. So if I, let's say I want to build a custom app and I say, I want to build a, uh, uh, let's say a maintenance, oops, maintenance work order manager application. Um, and I can say, please build, I'll be, I'll be curious, please. Now you see there's a misspell, but actually the AI wouldn't care. Okay, so I'm gonna click build it and that's gonna kick off the process. Now, usually this takes you know two to three minutes to go ahead and build. Um, while we're building that one, I'll show you some other examples. Uh, let me make sure it kicks off correctly before I move out. It's initializing and doing the analysis. So now it's kicking off its planning and its description and you can watch it go ahead and do the build. It's, it's quite interesting to see what it does. 
Um, but uh, I'm going to switch over to another environment here. So these are, we have dozens and dozens of different applications here uh, that have been built. And this is sort of the back end of uh, where everything sits in our system. And you can see there are dozens of different types of applications. And you can do everything from, you know, we talked about uh, documents and plans. So this is a financial plan and uh, as a presentation. And you can see it does a beautiful job of building these presentations for you. You can uh, have them full screen here um, or export to PowerPoint. Um, and so that's that's one cool application. It's a document type. You can see there's 5S audit managers and different applications. So, so, so here's the data. There's no data in here yet, but you'll see that you can come in here and you can build your 5S audit. And um, the cool thing is you can modify all these. And I'll show you that in a second as well. So all of these applications are available. Some of my favorite ones are the actual um, KPI dashboards. Uh, there, there's two really cool things about them is that one, they're they're beautiful and they and they um, allow you to enter your data. I'll show you how to do that. But also they provide AI analysis where you get the highlights. What issues does the AI see in your data? What suggestions? And you can see they're quite robust and they'll build beautiful applications for you. And the other cool thing about them is that you can upload your data into these applications and say, I like the layout, but uh, use the updated data that you, uh, you you upload into here and rebuild the dashboard based on my own data. And so you basically have a library of stunning dashboards for your whole team that are quite easily configured to your exact data and you can make changes to these. Let's see where we are on the build process here. Okay, so it's it's completed, it's doing app screen four completed. It's It's got four or five different uh, screens here it's completing, so it's it's still on its way. So I'll go back and show some more apps here. Uh, the other kinds of things. So these uh, analytical applications, we showed um, different presentations, financial plans, and analysis. One of the cool things you can do is um, with any type of uh, data, you can do an analysis, very much like the KPI uh, I was showing you before. Um, and there's also applications for like KPI management itself here, or you see here. Where it says KPI Manager, and you can uh, you can download those types of applications as well. Okay, so let's see where we are going back here. It's configuring the framework logic. As I said, we're a few days from launch. Hopefully, everything will work correctly. We're almost there. It looks like so. This is an app we call you know a completely custom application. Now, what it's doing is it's taking the best practice of these types of applications that exist in the world. And it's building out a version of that. So this may not be exactly uh, what you're looking for. Um, and I'll show you how we, at that point, then uh, edit it. One of the cool and powerful things about uh, AI vibe coding, as they call this type of process, is that um, you know if you don't like the application as it stands, uh, you can modify it. And this is a really huge shift from what we've dealt with with software in the past. Um, it's You can see here it's ready now. So uh, when the shift is instead of going, I'm going to buy some bespoke software and then modify my workflow to, to use it. In this case, you're able to build the software uh, that you want in and have it work the exact way you want. So you can see it's built its dashboard. There aren't any records in here yet. So let's um, go ahead and add a record. Uh, I'm creating the new record and you can see it's got status open. I, you can have a work order number or ID. Uh, title, um, fix, pump, I think this pump, pump, uh, description, you can add all this and you can see that in, you can expand these, et cetera. What's the status? It's open, it's on hold, it's priority, medium. So all the standard fields you'd need. And if you don't, if you want a different field, you can do that. Now here's where the um, the actual uh, building comes in and modification. Let's, let's actually save this record though, just so we can see that the dashboard then gets fed the data. And you're now on your way to do building and maintaining your, your maintenance application. So it's got a single record here and I put very little data in it. So there's not much there. Uh, you also have your record list view, which will show you all the records, uh, you know, in a standard sort of software list view. They all can be sortable. If you want to add a search, you can do that. Um, you can have your action items that are managed uh, uh, with a, like anything you want to do around the maintenance uh, team itself and add actions and you have a complete you know ability to manage actions, assign them, et cetera. And then with every application, there's an app description as well. 
So what you, you know, in the course of five minutes here, you've built a basic maintenance work order system. Now, the other thing you can do here is you can say, okay, I'm going to go, I'm going to edit this application. And this is where the really, you know, super powerful, uh-oh, are we connected? Karen, are you still seeing me? I got that something saying I should connect. Yes, I'm still seeing you. Okay, great. Uh, let's good. see here. I'm just I think maybe it was my um, my uh, internet had issues for a second. Okay, so in this environment, I'm now in the editor environment, and the editor allows you to make changes and you know do whatever you want here in the system. And so you just type in what you want. So you're effectively coding in natural language. Um, so we can do something simple here, like. Uh, Let's add uh, paused as a status, just a simple thing. Please add uh, paused as a status in the work order record dropdown. I'm not even going to fix my spelling. It'll know what that means. Um, and uh, so the system now has the same sort of animations you saw previously, and it will walk you through. It will keep you up to date on how long. But the changes will take anywhere from you know 30 seconds to a minute, generally, to make any changes. So you can add fields. You can change the look and feel. You can um, add lots of different things. Uh, you add a file manager to capture and manage all your files. You see little confetti goes, hello, yeah, I did it. And so there it is, paused. And so those are the types you can do any sort of change you want in the system and build the work order system to exactly the way you want it to work. And one of the cool things is that, you know, all your applications then show up, I'll jump in here to a workspace, will show up in your workspace for your team. And these teams are completely secure. So you have all the enterprise, a single sign on and capability to add your teams and people to them and manage them and all those types of things. So instead of you know working in a spreadsheet or some bespoke app that's sitting outside in the world, you have a workspace that gives you access to all of the applications you want and allows you to build as many different types of applications as you need. In addition, you can grab any one of these and click build it, and that will add it to your uh, team as well. So that's that's how you build and edit applications very, very easily. When you have an application like... Uh, Oh, let's find out one of the uh, dashboards here. So any sort of data that comes from, uh, in this case, you have a KPI dashboard for an uh, uh, IT team. Um, but what we built into the entire system is the ability to get information about the data. So whether this data is uploaded as, you know, in this case, sample IT data, or the data is brought in by using the application. So you might, for instance, let's say you've got a, a maintenance application and you've got hundreds of best practices or your team knows all kinds of information, you can add all of those files to this system here as well as your application data. And then you can come in here and you can ask questions of that data to get any answers like what are our most common issues? Uh, what, what are the most uh, best practices for fixing this type of issue? All of those things are available because the environment has a massive context, which is unique. It goes back to the architecture that uh, picture I was showing you is that the architecture allows us to maintain all that information and context across all the applications, as well as the additional data and tribal knowledge your team might put into the system. We have connections with uh, SharePoint and Google Drive so that you can also connect all that information to the system. And then you basically have created an intelligent contextual environment to run these applications. So it's not just a workspace that gives you uh, the ability to have your apps in the environment. It gets smarter as time goes on as you add the information. And what's wonderful about this is that you don't have to be an AI expert to put this together. Uh, our, our goal is to make this intelligent and the, the technology so good that you basically, you know, it looks like WYSIWYG type of stuff, and it gives you the AI outputs that you're actually looking for. Uh, if I go to Praxy.com, you'll see that, that um, all of the apps are here available to you. So I'd, I'd encourage you to just come in and you can um, preview the applications. And if you hit build it, it'll take you into the environment and then you'll be able to play with the applications. 
the editing environment capability is, is not fully released now. As I said, we'll be releasing in two weeks. Um, we're mostly there. As you saw, there was one little bug. Um, but uh, this will give you the ability to play around and, uh, and go ahead and use the applications and see if these applications might fit your needs. From a pricing standpoint, uh, we're, it's $20 a month. Uh, if you buy the annual and it's $25 a month if you buy uh, on a monthly basis. So we feel like we're trying to deliver um, this capability in a way that is, is you know, an extreme value proposition. So you can build and design your own applications. You don't have to have your IT team involved if you don't want to, but we have a, a very robust workflow and agent system behind the scenes. And we'll be talking about that um, in the next couple of webinars on how to get behind the scenes if you want and actually have your more technical people build whatever workflows, et cetera, that you want behind the scenes. So that's a quick overview of what we're, we're, we're releasing here in a couple of weeks. Uh, we're looking forward to it, and we hope uh, uh, you guys will as well. We'll be sending out uh, this video as well as uh, the presentation uh, via email, and we'll also keep you all informed when the functionality is fully released in a couple of weeks.